All right, I'm going to introduce some vocabulary. These are words that you will see in your story. They're also words that we will work with later this week in um, vocabulary strategies and um, vocabulary in context. So these are um, the words that you will see. Let's look over them. If you'd read the blue word with me and then the sentence, like last week, and then I will tell you what it means. Um, give you the think about it and the talk it over, um, at which point I would like you to pause the video and discuss those things with your learning adult at home, because remember it's very important for you to um, to talk about your ideas and to um, give them credit. Um, so here we go. Read it with me. Politics. Politics is the work of government. Running for office and voting are part of politics. Politics is the work of forming and running governments. How do you think politics affects you and your family? Explain. Discuss with your learning adult what you know about how politics work in the United States. How do we elect our political representatives? Read it with me. Intelligent. Smart people make intelligent decisions when they vote. An intelligent person has the ability to learn, think, and understand. Who is the most intelligent person that you know? And what makes him or her intelligent? Which of the following sentences describe intelligent acts? Go ahead and read the bulleted sentences and tell you, talk it over with your learning adult. Which of these sentences describe intelligent? Disorderly. Without a set of rules or laws, society might be disorderly or disorganized. If people are being disorderly, they are behaving in a way that is out of control or against the rules. What happens when students are disorderly? Think of a time when you have been in a disorderly setting and describe what it was like to your learning adult. Approve. People who run for office hope voters will like and approve of them. To approve of something is to like and agree with it. Do you approve of the way the students in your class dress? Why or why not? Tell which of your choices your parents or guardians approve of and which of your choices they do not approve of by discussing this table with your learning adult at home. Polls. Voters go to the polls or election locations to place their votes on election day. In an election, the places where people go to vote are called the polls. On election day, where are the polls set up in your town? Think about what voters usually do before and after they go to the polls. Go ahead and talk about this flow chart and think about how these steps would follow in order. Legislature. A legislature is a group of elected officials who make laws. A legislature is a group of people who make laws for a state or a country. Would you like to be a member of a legislature when you grow up? Why or why not? Make a web like this one. Fill it in with words that are connected with the work of a legislature. Amendment. Only in 1920 did an amendment to the Constitution allow all U.S. women to vote. An amendment is a change made to correct or add something. What kind of amendment would you make to your school's rules if you could? With your learning adult, decide which of the following sentences use amendment correctly. Candidates. Candidates, or people trying to get elected to office, sometimes have public debates. Candidates are people who are hoping to be chosen for a job or to win an election. What might candidates for class president do to get your vote? Make a list or discuss three things that candidates for a job opening should do. Discuss them and compare your list with that of your learning adult. Informed. Informed voters have learned about issues in order to decide how they will vote. 
Someone who's informed has information or knowledge. What is the best way to be an informed member of your community? Read each statement below and decide whether the speaker is informed. Last but not least, denied. People should not be denied or refused meetings with their elected officials. If a person is denied something, he or she is not allowed to have it. How do you react when you're denied something that you would really like or want? Identify the sentences that show that someone was denied something and discuss it with your learning adult at home. 